Hello again everyone, welcome to Realm of Dar's Pokemon channel. My name is Mark and I'll be joined by guest commentator Robert. Hey guys, Robert here. Uh, today we're going to be watching a match between myself and Robert playing an expanded game with Zorark Eggs and Lucario GX variant. But before we jump in, be sure to subscribe to keep up with all our latest videos and also check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Let's get into this. Um, just as a disclaimer, this video is a bit longer than a normal match that we play like at our locals because this was the night before the regional and we were just testing, we were talking with each other through our plays and things to make sure we were just mm -hmm. making the most optimal plays, you know. So it's a bit longer than our standard game, but um, it's, it's a good game, it's worth the watch. Yeah, definitely, and I, I know there's not a lot of expanded content um, on YouTube as well, so... This yeah, is exactly. a good idea. So, so uh, let's see. It looks like um, I roll. We rolled, and I'm going first here in this in this game. I believe you did get to go first. Yeah. yeah. All right. And those are the um, the maps that they gave out at the regional with Ultra Necrozma there. They were. It's a pretty cool map, really. Yeah, it's pretty sick. Um, looks like we... Looks like I started a Remoraid and a Ryolu. Yeah, looks like I started a Zora. Remoraid. I thought you started Egg this game. I didn't start... I have an Egg in my hand. I've seen that. I got a oh. couple Eggs in my hand. Okay. I think you were deciding just to go ahead and put down the Wudo. It's good against my deck, so... Yeah. Yeah, I don't blame you. Yeah, I second-guessed that Wudo, but then I realized, oh yeah, this is Zorark, so... And there I am playing Battle okay. Compressor. He opens the best card in the entire deck. <laughs> Something like that. Oh, the reason we got our, our mats uh, a little bit earlier there is because uh, we did get the uh, the VIP access. With yeah. With the coin and stuff like that. Um, if you guys do go to a regional, I would strongly recommend... In that. It was you get all sweet. kinds of cool stuff. It's it's usually well worth the money. I understand if you don't have the mm -hmm. money, but if you do, it's it's a good investment. Absolutely. All right. Looks like I'm going to do the typical play here, trying to just get an egg out of my hand, and definitely don't want to see that ranger against you. No, the ranger's good in some matchups, but not me. And I think this okay. is yeah. I do a ranger, a Guzma, and an egg. Maybe strongly. No, yeah, I think I was reconsidering there. Yep, we go ahead and. I'm sure the majority of you know, but that is the propagation egg that every turn, if it's in the discard, you can just put it back in your hand. Yeah, a lot and of the the big misconception with that it says once per turn, but in Pokemon, when things go back to the bench or to the discard, it, it resets. resets it. Yeah. So you can just pick it up infinitely. Yeah, it's and say one egg can just get you all your trades and not burn any cards in your hand that you needed. Mm-hmm. And um, I think I put down one egg because I don't want you to go and give me the old... Donkadoodles. Yeah. And I put... Yeah, I sent a Lele instead of the um, the uh, Guzma because I had a rescue stretcher in my hand. Right, right. I remember that. And then I'm pretty sure you're just going to grab Baghetti here if you have it. Oh, by the way, everybody, before I could get them, the blank cards in my deck were uh, Puzzles of Time, just in case that, that is going to get a little bit confusing there. Um, yeah, they're, they're Puzzles of Time. Unfortunately, I left my nice play set of reverse Puzzles of Time back in Ohio. His daughter got a hold of them, and we found them when we got back in Ohio. Yeah, well, thankfully, you know, she's pretty good. They with were this, undamaged, so. but uh, so he had to proxy those puzzles, and I think he prized Bridget here, so he opted to grab Getsis, which is a strong card. Yeah, this I is think a that's a very strong turn one play. Or is that a chorus? I think that could be a chorus because I think I'm going to put the eggs down and try to. Okay. Yeah. Never mind. I guess this and chorus look a little bit alike, especially in a bright light. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're in the R Hotel right here, too. So. All right. Go ahead and give me a cut there. I'm Yeah, I think I pretty much put the eggs down here. Uh, Float stone on the Zora. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure I retreat it because I don't want you to. Uh, Oh, and he plays red card. Yeah, the red card gets us would have been really good here, but I don't think it would have gave me enough advantage to catch up. That's from... uh, what knocked me out of a lot of my tournament games was a combination of red card and guess this. Mm -hmm. And I didn't even play that many items. Like, we heard Trevenant was going to be pretty big, so I built the deck so as not to be as item-reliant as I could, but it just... 
it still just happens. You have to play a set amount of items. I think I was playing 16 or 17. Yeah. And that's like minimum. Yeah, expanded, you just you have to play items. And that's so you can keep up with your opponent. Um, I think you just actually drew a card there. It's cool. Um, yeah, and it looks like I am going to propagate egg. Egg. Bench an egg. And, and you're probably going to see a chorus here. Chorus for five. Yeah. Uh, there's one thing that I learned when I was at this regional is if Zorark breaks, it's no bueno. It's um, not a very strong start for the Zorark side. Typically, against most of my games against Zorark in the tournament, they bridgeted down three Zorark. Zoroas started their other Zoroa, and by turn two, they had all four Zorarks. Now, I know I considered here grabbing, um, sh uh, putting a Shaman in the discard to grab with the stretcher. Mm hmm. But I think I was more wanting to, uh, wanting to set up Bridget, and I don't think I checked. For my Bridget when I went in there with Compressor the first time, so I kind of messed that play up. That's fair. And I, man, if I would have just kept those darn eggs in there and drew those cards, that would have been a crazy good hand. It looks like you got a computer search there. Yeah. Interesting. I'm just okay. thinking about what to do here. I'm definitely yeah. going to play the computer search's turn. Computer search, a very powerful card. If you don't know what it does, you just discard any two cards in your hand and you search any one card in your deck. Pretty much think of it like uh, an Ultra Ball, but for any card. Any card. Yeah, it looks like I grab a Shaman here. Yeah, this deck likes to draw cards. Yep. And it looks like, yeah, I, uh, I grab Ultra Ball, and then I use the other two cards to... Grab Shaman for yep. a setup of a fresh six. Yep. And that's, that's still pretty good from coming from that hand. I was lucky to get the the computer search off there to be able to do that, but but this does uh, this does lock my bench up here when I do this. Well, he plays a stadium that helps out there, so. Well, you have Wudo down. I do a pseudo Wudo. That would not that does block Skyfield because the ability takes precedence. That is yep. correct. So now I can't put nothing else down, and I draw a double puzzle there. And that is... But he plays Hex Maniac. However, he has already supported this turn. So before he buzzwolves or Landorus, I uh, just retreat back into the Lele. Mm -hmm. And that's it. That's going to be a turn. And that was a very long first turn. In this game, um, I am playing a buzzwolf <laughs> GX. Darian tries to... I, down the his, My turn took so his long. His turn was so long, I thought that I hadn't gone yet. But Zorak <laughs> does that a lot. Um, but in this game here, I opted to play a Landorus and a Buzzwall. Mm -hmm. For the actual event, I just made it two Buzzwalls. Yeah. yeah um, Buzzwall is weak to Psychic, but we both agree that you would rather use Buzzwall second attack. It's it had better more to HP. have Knuckle Impact than not have Knuckle Impact. It has yeah. more HP, and it has less Retreat. I think I make kind of a greedy play here, if I remember right. Um, but see, the way I was looking at it is the way you beat Zora is you take out the Zoras, and if he only has one down, mm -hmm. I think, yeah, I think I make kind of a greedy play here. I probably should have just held off on this, but something told me it was okay. Yeah, what it is here is um, just, you went straight for the Lele for the Guzma when you could have just held the turn. I could have. I still don't feel like it was a misplay. It might have been a little hasty. Yeah, but the thing is, you know, holding the the, the artillery would have been good there. But I mean, don't get me wrong. You do knock out my own Zora, and my bench is limited, so it's not a terrible play. I think you top deck in. To I do. Number, right? Yeah, I top deck a I supporter deck to in. get out of this, which is lucky. But I do play like seven draw supporters, so you do. You do. You do. And I'm like, okay, yeah, I pretty much know what's going on here. And he's going to jab. I, I think I bring up Lele and I just knock it out, too. Or something like that. I can't quite remember what well, I did with that. I mean, Energy Drive would do 60. Maybe it was that. Oh, that's right. I play X-Ball Mewtwo in here. That's right. Actually, you do. But, but I don't think I put it in. He didn't have it in for this game. I don't think I did. Mm -hmm. Now, for the regional, he played the X-Ball Mewtwo. Helped a lot in his fighting matchups, but... 
Oh, in yeah. In this game, he had forgot to put it in his deck. We It was a eight-hour drive, almost. We were both really tired. We had gone to eat, and we were just chilling. Yeah. And we just missed a couple and of there, things. Here comes double puzzle. What do I end up grabbing? Probably Chorus. Yeah. And, and my other puzzle. Yeah. You yeah. want to get that back for later. Yep. And I do have four on the bench, so if he choruses right now, that'll be seven. Yep, and I go ahead and do that. Also, if you guys didn't see that, I played uh, Cobra Lion as well with a counter energy. Yeah, it's good for the guard, the guardy matchup. Yeah, it's, it is hard to beat uh, guardy with with Zorark, So you just cannot hit that number with Zorark. It's with resistance. Well, we even tried to mate the bid sharp. The Bisharp work with a with a good like the good Pawnard, Pawnard, and whatever. the Bisharp would work. However, since the Guardi is both weak and resistant to the Bisharp, right, it do, the numbers don't work out right. It's still ten off. <laughs> yeah, no matter how we were figuring any anything else out, it always hit two twenty on it, except with the Cobra Lion. But that forced me to put a counter energy in there, which don't get me wrong, it was it did it did work out well. We debated playing the Bisharp with Professor Kakui, but that just was too just too much to have yeah. for that situation. Alright, well let's see what we end up getting here. Uh, I've definitely seen a DC in my hand there, and looks like another Lele as well. Uh, it looks like a, I have a compressor in my hand. No, it's a Cobra Line. Okay. No, it was Cobra Line and Counter Energy. Hmm. Yeah, I would have played Zorark too, but I'm just not very good at decks that require perfect sequencing. Oh, this this is what happened here. I remember now. You got the end the next turn after I. Uh, you're, you're debating a jab for sixty here, I think. I believe I just go ahead and do it because I don't have anything else going for me here. I may try to detect. I think I'm really debating it. But I believe I just go for the jab. I feel like the detect probably would have been would have been a decent play here. Just to keep yourself alive. I was turn. weighing the risks, but I think since I already have two Ryalus, mm -hmm. I just go for the jab. Yep. Jab for 60. Which that jab could have hit 120 on a Zorark. And here comes another Zorua. Finds another Zorua there, yeah. Checking the discard. It's it's a very, very meticulous deck, the Zorark deck. You have to play it just right. But when you do, you usually win. Because Yeah, I was taking my time here. I know when that at when I was actually playing, I playing about twice as fast on here. We were just, like I said, we were just kind of relaxing and just playing for, just for fun here, just get a feel for the decks. Really, most of my advice is I never say to play a game before a regional, you know, but we didn't have nothing else really to do. And uh, you can't hear it um, because we're commentating over everything, but we are actually talking to each other about all of our plays too. Right just to uh, help each other out, make sure we're both making the most optimal play. I think at this point I'm calling Darian crazy for getting rid of the Octillery, if I, if I remember Probably. right. Probably. It was a slightly greedy play, but I knew that... Yeah, there comes... It was Colors for 9, by the way, there. Um, I do play 2 Octillery, and I do play a Rescue Stretcher, mm -hmm. and I play Karina. <laughs> so it's not too hard to get my Octillery back if I need it, or no. to get the other one. Yep, and we just... He just does the energy drive here. I promote Ryalu, and I draw an end. Boy. A... Right back into the game here. I can't, uh... I can't really remember what, uh... You got off here. We'll have to see. Now, you'll notice as I play, especially, you know, as um, I'm searching through my deck, um, even though this is an expanded deck, I do not play VS Seeker. Right. And the reason I opted not to play that was because I heard Trevenant was going to be pretty prevalent at the regional. And also, I just feel like the fighting decks, especially with Buzzwall, 
are just a little bit better without the VS Seeker and just higher counts of all the supporters you need. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it definitely helps out with Getsus. Mm -hmm. Getsus loves eating up VS Seeker. So. Yeah. All right, looks like we're just doing a couple cuts here, making sure everything's super thorough. That is, uh, that's one piece of advice you can give people too. It's just make sure that you know you give a good couple shuffles and some some side shuffles, and you know do the same thing for your opponent's deck too. Oh yeah, absolutely. Keep you want to make sure um, you want to make sure your cards are randomized, you know, to the best you can get them. It looks like I have drawn. Did I draw the Lucario and the Energy here? I I don't recall. Oh. No, it looks oh, it like I a, drew Landorus. Yeah, and you, uh, oh, you had to use your I had to use my scoop, scoop up, up Cyclone to bring up my Rylu back to the bench, however. You do have a Cynthia in your hand. Or to the hand, yes. And that is my Ace Bash, so I can only play one of those. And I think you'd just knock an egg out here. I would. I would just knock an egg. Yeah, I decided to just knock out an egg. Ooh, Wide Lens would have been good here. Ooh. Yeah, I didn't have it. <laughs> I was hoping I'd get it. And for those of you who don't know, Wide Lens is an item that is especially amazing for Buzzwall and Landorus as you do 30 to the bench, but it's an mm -hmm. item that you hit the bench for weakness. So I sent Guzma, a Hex, and probably a Red Card. Yeah, I like um, one of my big plays that I was doing is I liked sending, I'd Red Card. And then if I had the other one in there, I was sending it with the, the compressor. So I, I assume at this point he has red card in his hand. I'm pretty sure he does. Yeah, and if, I think I do red card you here. Uh, sky filled, yep. Okay. I know. I know. Uh, yep, he does have a Zoroark. Just checking the discard again. Yep. Propagation there for an egg. Yep. I have a puzzle in my hand too. I apologize again for the proxies. Um, thankfully, I had a team member, well, someone who came with us. We were all shacking up together. He uh, let me borrow some puzzles at time. So, thank you, person. You know who you are. So. Looks like another Zora. Um, I, I tell you what, that Sudowoodo had put in some work. And then you guess this me, and I have no items. Yeah. Like, I have an Oracorio, a Strong Energy, and a Cynthia. And you're just going to Energy Drive. Um, I can't uh, I can't quite recall what you, you do here. I think you put the Strong Energy I on. Believe, no, just, okay, the regular just the regular fighting, and then I play Cynthia. You play Cynthia, in there. okay. And I don't remember if if you play out anything else like with Skyfall, like if you get another Pokemon, it it can be kind of hard to remember that you know you can bench up to eight yourself here. You had Oracorio in your hand, right? Yeah. You could have put Oracorio down here, I believe, but I honestly probably forgot that. Yeah, I mean it doesn't matter, but um, or I was. No, I, so I looked at your discard to see how many Pokemon you had, and you only had, like, one. Well, so now's not the time, I would right? save it till later, if, if at mm -hmm. all. Alright, gonna go ahead and... You sent it, right? Yep. I did. I'm gonna get six cards here. I've seen a Karina, a Sycamore... I drew a bunch of supporters there. Yeah. That's not necessarily good. I think you put Brooklet Hill down here, too. Yeah, I believe I definitely drew Brooklyn. I'm probably going to bump the Skyfield. And I might have gotten a way to get to Octillery. I can't remember. Um, yeah, I can't quite uh, fully see it. Yeah, we put the Sash down on the um, Rylou. Yes, yeah, so I drew Focus Sash. Um, that's another expanded item, only for fighting Pokemon. If, if your opponent would attack a Pokemon with Fighting Fury Belt mm -hmm. on it and knock it out... It doesn't um, get KO'd. Um, for those of you who play the video games, it's much the same. It's exactly like the Focus Sash in the video games. You're left with 1 HP, and the card game you're left with 10 HP. Right. And it just discards the Focus Sash. Yep. 
All right, and you just do another hammerhead, putting, I believe it was 30 on 50 egg. on the Tapu Lele and 30 to knock out another egg. Yep. And you trade here with Propagation. It's a little uh, difficult for me to see what I do, and I just trade again. Yep, and that's egg for you, folks. That's what it does. And that is what it does. It is... It's, it's definitely something. Let's leave it at that. And I really, really don't like... I really, really hated not being able to KO that Lele because I knew... I know he plays Ace Arola, and I knew he was probably just going to go for it, but there was nothing I could do last turn. Right. And it looks like he did grab his one Ace Arola there. That Ace Arola was really, really helpful mm -hmm. in the uh, in the regional itself. Mm -hmm. I'm going to see an Ace Arola... Say, so come yeah. on back up. No more damage, please. Yep. And it looks like he is probably going to be taking out my Landorus here. Yep, I just put the... Uh, oh, yeah. yeah I he do. Takes out my Landorus yeah. with Seismitoad. That's another reason I decided not to play Landorus <laughs> in the tournament, folks. <laughs> That's uh, right, yep. He's really good, but he is weak to water. And there is a really good card that just is water type that just item locks you. Yeah. Unfortunately, that was really strong on his part, but unbeknownst to him, I think I have zero items in my hand right now. Yeah, I I assumed you had something maybe in your hand, but either way, I wanted to uh, try and preserve that. I mean, plus you already got your focus sash on there too. I do. Um. Do you? Looks like my entire hand is trainers. I don't even we know might what see they a all are. We might just see a uh, sycamore here. Yeah. Okay. I played a very high count of Acerola. I played four. Yep, four. This deck just loves Acerola, man. I mean, it really does. It is. It is so good. So I Brooklet held down my Deancey Prism Star to do 20 additional damage with my fighting attacks. Mm -hmm. Looks like I'm just taking a look through the deck real quick to see what's there before I decide on my next play. Mm-hmm. And... Yeah, just, uh... Looking through the old deck there, just probably probably seeing how many uh, Lucario GXs you had in there. Depending. That, I also wanted to know... Uh, how many of certain supporters I had left? Let's see. You probably are considering a second more here. Let's see. So yeah, really it's going to be a little uh, awkward. It happened. Are we going to have this spaghetti volcano? We're not those professional players that can just shuffle like their deck in midair. Yeah, not, not that good. I have to. <laughs> I bridge shuffle by doing the corners and just pressing it together. Mm -hmm. That's about the best I can do. Okay. Yeah, yeah man, it there looks he like goes. I did just Sycamore there. And I'm like, wait, wait, wait. I said, let me see what you just discarded. Yeah, there. an Ace Arola, a Remoraid, a Brooklet Hill, a couple other things. Yep. Nothing really, really relevant, though. Yeah, what did you get in your hand there? Really looks like a there. couple, handful of supporters again. No, I think I got my Lucario. Sometimes in Pokemon, though, like, you do just have to do that. You just have to Sycamore it all away. And just be like, I have to get to my Pokemon. And here you did. You had to get to your Lucario. And, uh, but I have to hit a Strong Energy and a Lucario here for Knockout on the Seismitoad. And I believe I missed it. And I am item locked, so I believe mm -hmm. I drew a way to get to my artillery, but I can't play it. Right. Sorry. Um, yeah. I am just debating here. Hmm. Eyeballing that toad. I could just go for a detect, but if he hits me for some damage that doesn't knock me out. Oh, you just, oh, you just jabbed. jabbed, yeah. But if he, if he hits me for any amount of damage that doesn't knock me out, the Focus Sash becomes null and void. It will not do anything. Right. It only works if you're at full HP. And were to be knocked and out. And were to be knocked out. Okay, so he's got the Skyfield there. Mm-hmm. 
I'm trying to think if I decide to want to try to ace a roll again here and maybe bring up a Zorark to knock out mm -hmm. your, your Rylu. I, I can't remember if that's what I did. Now, typically, this Zorark deck would be going off by this point, but the Pseudo Wudo is doing quite an effective job limiting mm -hmm. his bench. And it's, it was the tech Pokemon of choice at that regional. I mean, that card is fantastic against this deck. It is sad that in a fighting deck, you have to play techs against a fighting weak deck. Yeah. But it's, that's just how good Zorark is. Mm -hmm. It hits 210 so easy. Do I... Do I Koba Lion you here? Uh, you is might. That, is that what happens? Because well, no. I see me looking at that counter energy. We have even prizes. Oh, no, though. yeah, that's right. We do. I do not know. You may use the counter energy. Hex. Yep. Oh, I believe you just played Hex Maniac there. Mm -hmm. is so that is going to turn off my Sudowoodo this turn and allow you to bench more. You're not really supposed to be allowed to do something like that. What There's was my plan here? Okay. There I was asking Mark if there was any way that I could mark the pseudo Wudo to know that its ability was negated for the turn. Oh, that's why I did it. I hexed uh, so I could put down my pseudo Wudo to limit your bench next turn. Yep. But I was trying to put... I was trying to tilt the pseudo Wudo there and trying to put a dice on it, asking my friend Mark, because he has been to a regional before and I have not, mm -hmm. if there was any way I could legally just mark the pseudo Wudo. They don't like you doing and that. He told me no. Unfortunately, I just had to remember that it was turned off. Yeah, there's not really a way to item lock. There's certain counters they don't mind you using, I believe, but they if they do catch you, they can be stingy about it. They can a little bit, but that's that's the rules. I mean, it the dice makes sense. It could definitely just be counted as damage. Right. Okay, and I did draw a Lucario GX here finally. Right. Looks like I'm going to evolve my bench Dryalu there. <clears throat> And I'm probably maybe an Acerola here. Another Sycamore. Another Sycamore. Wow. Well, because you're, you're still item locked. Yeah. Right? I'm really going through my deck there, though. That's not what your deck does. You do find the Octillery, though, which is good. I mean, you can't uh, you can't use it this turn. You are ability and item locked. I think I try to use Ultra Ball here, and then I realize at the last second I can't. Which is why I Sycamore away the last hand in the first place. Because it was three or four items. Yeah, we try to pay good attention to that and make sure we don't. Okay, so the Octillery is down. Mm hmm. Do you have a, you do have an energy in your hand? I do. And do you have a. Did you opt to play uh, the Choice Band? I played one. Okay, so yeah, even Choice Band here would be really good. Because you could. Uh, no, you, I mean, you could put Choice Band on it, but it would be. A knockout if you could here. Yeah, unfortunately, since I didn't draw a strong energy there, this is not enough. This will only do 120. Well, wh even a strong wouldn't have done it. Oh, yes, because the Deancey is shut off. shut off. Right. But it's the best yep. play I have. <laughs> and that's, that's what you can do, just 120. But that's what the Lucario deck does, though. You hit... And then they hit you, and then you ace Arola, and you bring so, up another Lucario. Yeah, so here on my draw, I'm like, okay, so our abilities are back on at the end of your turn here. Um, so your Wudo's back on. You discard, and then I discard my Shaman. So, oop. Both deciding to keep the Wudo there. Yeah. The Expanded is very intricate. It can be... Yeah. Yep. There's a lot to have to remember, especially with all the... Seismitoad decks and the Hypnotoxic Lasers and the Veerbank City Gyms. Mm -hmm. Looks like I uh, just yeah, make sure I put there. the egg up top there to, to show that, or I'm just looking through there. I did trade, but I used uh, Propagation. So, yeah. And it looks like I drew a Choice Banner and something else there. Trade the Ultra Ball. Or I'm ultra balling with the eggs to see what I got left in deck. And it looks like I have three DCEs okay. left in that, that thin little deck there. Yeah, I remember game one, you had a very hard time finding double colorless energy. A, uh, a problem do. I know all too well. Yeah, these decks that rely a lot on DCE, it is, it is the trouble card to find. Sometimes. 
That is why I like, like to play basic energy decks. Okay, it looks like I did find one. I'm probably thinking, do I need to ace a roll of this toad up, or am I need to Guzma up something, or... I think, yeah, I uh, am going to go ahead and think about Guzma. Yeah, I do see the VS Seeker in my hand. Trust me, it, it feels bad, man, when uh, I, I've tried for two turns to knock that Toad out and couldn't do it because I know he plays Ace of Roll and it's so easy for him to get to. Yeah, I'm playing VS Seeker. I think I knock out your Wudo here. Okay. Yeah. Is it the Wudo? I didn't think you targeted down my Wudo. It may it may not be. Maybe it was your uh maybe it was your octillery or something like that. Bring up the Wudo. Or yeah. the other Ryalu. No, it was the Wudo. Okay. Yeah. Because I was pretty sure I knew you couldn't get it back, but I think you did anyway. So And I will be right as beating. Yep, and right as beating. I'm gonna bring back up my. Yeah, that puts me down to two prizes, and he's gonna probably bring up his right. I mean, you're not item locked or anything now, so it is just uh, one hit KOs. Yeah, I do have items available to me again, and I can take out that Zorark, putting myself down to one prize. Mm -hmm. Also, this. Uh... This 30 damage that I put on this Rylu earlier mattered quite a bit. Uh, because I had a float stone on that Zorark there. And I would have needed Choice Band to knock that out. So. Um, looks like I just took a look through Mark's discard pile there to see what he had used. Really, yeah, he's counting my VS Seekers and my my puzzles to see if I can get any of that stuff, anything back with that. Because until the Zorark deck runs out of VS Seekers and puzzles, it just gets everything back. Yep, and there comes the... Uh, and I rescue Stretcher back my pseudo Wudo here. Yep, and that is that is the play. Uh, it is the last bench spot that you have, but it is is well worth it. And I am debating using that last bench spot, but I think I have to. Well, yeah, we're seeing a uh, Lucario here. Because you're going to have Abyssal Hand and whatnot to try to get to an energy. Yep. Yeah, it looks like you have a good chance of hitting your uh, energy here as well. Well, I think I opt to not go for the Lucario mm -hmm. because I know... The focus ash isn't going to do anything, and you can just knock it out next turn with the Zorark. I think I put down a buzz wall and put a fresh focus sash on it, if I remember right. Okay. And then that way you would have to have the field blower. Right, right. I got gotcha. you. All right. Well, let's see here. Because I have, in hand there, I have Sudowoodo, Buzzwall, and Acerola. Yep. You put the Acerola up here. And I know at this time I was thinking, I was like, oh, man. I meant to bench the Buzzwall first there. We were a little tired. Yeah, it's it's all good. Um, you actually, I don't think you even played Acerola just yet anyways. So, yeah, he brings that on up. And he is going to put down probably the, the Wudo here. Which, yeah, that was a pretty, pretty good play. Wudo. Sash. Sure. Yep, and you did force me to have the fill blower here. Was, and that, that sash really did put in the work. If I didn't have the blower, I'm pretty sure yeah, you had the game. Yeah, I force him to have field blower and hex maniac here. But unfortunately, I'm pretty sure he just has it. <laughs> yeah, you do knock the toad out, though. Yes, and that's how I go down to one prize. That's right. Okay, yeah. so I bump his skyfield. So next turn, folks, he has to have skyfield. Field blower and hex maniac for the knockout, yes. but you're about to see why Zorark is the best deck. And uh, did we do the math right on that? Yeah, we did. You had the answer down. So you did jet punch me for a hundred, knocking out the toad. And yeah, this is, and this is why uh, Zorark's nuts. So it's like you know, here comes a choice band. Um, 
And I'm looking at him like, I know I can trade to get the rest the rest of my deck. And, and I believe he just held the field blower there. I'm pretty sure he has it now. Mm -hmm. If not, he's going to trade for it because I don't think he's played it. Then I'm bringing the eggs up to the top there to get the rest of my deck. And I have double puzzle in the hand. Yep, he just had the blower. And I was like, yay. Eggs. Yeah, bring back the eggs. And this is, I mean, this is the typical finishing play for Zork. And he's just going to draw up the rest of his entire deck there with two eggs. Yeah. And he should have the resources he needs to win now. Yep, I just grab all my eggs back there. Um, I have double puzzle. I think I just end up grabbing two more Pokemon. Or, uh, or something of that matter. Skyfield. Yep, Skyfield, and I think it was just... It has to be Hexmaniac, unless you VS Seeker for the Hexmaniac. Yeah, I do. I do have a VS Seeker in my hand. Yeah, first stretcher. Yep. I can't remember why you took the rescue stretcher. Just in case you didn't win, you didn't want to deck out, I think. Yep. No, I was pretty sure I just needed to grab a, a single Pokemon in there. Yep, I was just grabbing back my Toad, my Shaman. And that. And then I asked him if that was his hand there. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. it's like 17 cards or something. Yeah. And he just draws up the rest of his deck there with the infinite amount of trades he has. Yep, and, and that that's, is... That's that. That is that, and that is the end... I think I think I'm pretty sure I had it either way. Even with the stretcher, I had the three eggs and and two Pokemon in there. And there comes the the Hex Maniac. Mm -hmm. And that is why this deck is just insane. Yeah. Two, five, six, seven. With eight Pokemon there, he's at 160 damage. 190 with the Choice Band. What's well, uh? He put down the ninth, even though he didn't need to. But that's fine. And that's game. Yep. Because so and that's and so good. <laughs> it is. It's crazy. Um, hopefully, we do have a uh, another another match of this that we'll be posting up a little bit later. So, um, all right. I'm not sure if.